Hello guys, welcome to my channel, hope everything is well. So let's go ahead and try this amazing makeup look. This is the beauty makeup and this is something more easy and also moisturizing and glowy to do. So let's go ahead and apply a serum all over the face to start off. This will be my moisturizer. So I'm using here Glowish. No, I'm using here a wishful product from Huda Beauty. So I'm applying the rose gold oil all over my face, neck and chest. And I apply a generous amount because I really like how it feels in my skin and how it preps my skin for the foundation and everything else. Now I'm gonna use a primer. This is from Laura Mercier and this is also a moisturizing primer, acts as a moisturizer but also help me to get a more long wear makeup look. So I'm gonna apply all over, especially in the eye area and in the center of my face. I'm gonna spread it out to massage my face a little because it's a moisturizing primer so I don't have problem with it. If I were using a blurring primer, for example, I would like to apply just in the center of the face to hide the pores. And now I'm gonna move on to my foundation. So I'm gonna mix this amazing foundations together. So I'm gonna use here Shiseido and this is the Synchro Skin Radiance Lift. And also I'm gonna mix Glowish Foundation and this is a more kind of setting finish foundation. That's why I really like, because it gives me this kind of natural glow in my skin. So I'm gonna apply the foundation all over with a brush like this. This is a more firm brush. I really like to use this brush to apply contour and blush, by the way. But as it is a firm brush, I really like to apply foundation and concealer as well. So I'm gonna use this one today to apply my foundation. So I'm gonna take a little bit in the brush and remove the excess product and spread the product in the recipient that I'm using here to catch the product and I'm gonna apply slowly in my face I'm gonna apply in sections so I'm gonna kind of control the amount of products that I'm applying and I'm gonna apply a thin coat all over and where I need to apply a little more then I go back creating kind of a second coat but I'm not gonna apply too much product here. This foundation technique is amazing for brides. I really use it a lot in my brides and also for uh, many, many situations and important occasions, especially for mature skin because it's a glowy and really moisturized skin. I confess that I really like to use this foundation application for myself and most of the times when I do my own makeup because I really like to do the skincare for my face while I do my makeup at the same time but sometimes I really need my makeup to be a long wear makeup so I have to do a different technique but of course for most of the times this one is what I use of course, I need to set my face when I finish to apply everything and here I use mostly cream and liquid product to do this foundation technique, but I kind of like this moisture for my skin. Some people don't really like this feeling like myself when we are in the summer. I really prefer something a little more matte and matte finish to kind of avoid the oily skin texture. Uh, next, I'm gonna apply a color corrector under the eye. I'm using here a light pink shade to conceal my dark area uh, under the eyes. This is the dark circles. So I'm gonna apply just a small amount because this product is very pigmented. This is from Sigma Beauty. So I'm gonna apply using a concealer brush just where I have 
this more purplish, greenish, bluish kind of veins in my eyes that you cannot see in the camera, but here in person I'm seeing everything, so I really like to cover everything up. So when I finish apply all the concealer in the dark circles area, I'm gonna just change the brush to apply um, not to apply but to really blend the product and as you guys can see it looks like i don't have any concealer but of course it's just a color corrector but it looks stunning you kind of cannot see any imperfection it really conceal any imperfection any dark circles any veins and i really like this product because of it but also because this is a lightweight product so I don't really need to apply too much, this is a very pigmented product and at the same time it looks like you don't have any product. Of course you need to set or layer with your favorite concealer on top and then set everything. Applying a small amount it won't crease in under the eyes and really you just need a little bit to do all the job. So clap your hands to the Spectrum Color Correcting Duo. Here I'm using the shade Light to Medium. It matches perfectly with my skin. I really, really like this product and sometimes I even use it alone. I don't really need to apply a concealer on top. But now I'm gonna use the Shiseido Concealer as well because it's a moisturizing concealer, light to medium coverage, but it looks stunning in the eyes and to control the amount of products the applicator is like this different and i really like it as well i can apply just a little tiny bit of product exactly where i want it to be and when i blend it goes on perfectly in my skin so i can blend using a concealer brush or even the beauty blender it looks good in any way i really like this concealer by the way I'm using from a year, I believe. And as I said, this is a light to medium coverage, but the coverage is stunning in the eyes, it won't crease in. And when I need a little more coverage, I like to use a color correcting before I apply this concealer because the finish is stunning. So I just set using a little bit of powder, translucent powder, and all done for the concealer area, of course. So just take your time applying the concealer and blend really well, especially this area. And what I like to do, especially actually nowadays, is to apply the concealer using a firm concealer brush and to blend with another brush like this instead of the Beauty Blender. Because I really feel that the Beauty Blender kind of takes off, remove a little bit of the product, understand what I mean? And this way I can just apply a small amount and keep the concealer where it should be. Of course, if you like, you can use another color, a lighter shade, for example, to highlight a little, but today I decided to use kind of a similar color to my foundation, just because I'm looking for a natural look, but if you like to highlight, you can go ahead and apply your favorite one. Now I'm gonna go back to the same brush that I was applying my foundation in my face and I'm gonna apply the contour shade. Today I'm using the contour cream contour from Huda Beauty and this is the shade light fair no this is the shade light so I'm gonna take a little and remove the excess product so I can apply in the areas that I want to sculpt and create shadow in my face. But today for a natural look, I'm gonna blend really well and I'm gonna apply a small amount of product because I don't wanna create harsh lines in the face. Today I'm doing a more soft makeup look and for this purpose, I don't have to apply a lot of contour or even a light concealer to highlight for example so i just have to keep it natural and glowy and really moisturized obviously obviously using products that work together so you have to try first 
before you apply and go out, for example. So you have to try a product combination if you like it, if it looks good in your skin before you apply the products to go out. Because for this technique, sometimes the product won't match uh, a combo of products. It won't match together when you apply everything in your face. So in a few minutes, it looks bad and like you're not using a good quality product for your skin so you have to try you have to match the product exactly for your skin if you have a combination skin oily skin or even a dry skin and check and check if the product will match not just for your skin type but also with each other for example the oil the moisturizer and everything else that you're gonna use so for the nose contour i changed for a smaller brush to concentrate the product and i can use just a small amount and now i'm using the blush from melt cosmetics i'm applying just the apples of the cheeks and blend it out for a natural glowy look Today I'm using the shade Pinched. This product is really good because when I apply in my skin and if I set my skin using a loose brush powder, it kind of melts the powder again and it keeps glowy and beautiful and moisturized but not a, something sticky and sometimes uncomfortable it looks way good and also really comfortable in the skin that's why i really like this product and by the way the color is amazing but if you like you can apply a powder using a powder puff for example it also looks good but not kind of melty texture like doing this way then i'm gonna show you here in this technique so now I think it's good and enough blush. So I'm gonna apply a highlighter right on top of all the liquid and cream products just because I really wanna make it a little more pigmented but at the same time a lot more visible in a natural way. So this is a trick that I really love to do and also it helps me to create a long wear effect for the highlighter. That is the first thing that comes off the highlighter blush when you set everything first. So I'm gonna apply Stargazer and the trick is to use a brush like this a little bigger than the usual and also a little more loose brush so it will make a easy application and also not concentrate the product just in one point for example but it gonna just spread the product in a beautiful way so for the smaller areas i decided to apply with the tip of my fingers and now i'm gonna apply the loose powder so today i'm gonna use huda beauty easy bake and first i'm gonna apply using a very soft brush like this so i'm gonna apply just in a few areas where i want to make it look a little more matte because the the purpose is to make my skin look glowy and healthy and not oily, especially in the pictures. So when the flash photography hits my skin, if I have a lot of moisturizing product and not make it a little matte in a few areas, it gonna just look bad. Like I'm oily or if I run a marathon. But now, as you guys can see, I use just a little bit of the loose powder Next, I'm going to use a glowy compact powder just to really set my skin but to keep the glow. So this is the glazed finish, glazed skin finish from Melt Cosmetics and here I'm using the shade Fair. So I'm going to take a little in the brush and I'm going to use the same brush to apply and I'm going to just set the rest of my face using these products. 
the glow from this product is very soft so if you like you can just use in the morning for example as a highlighter in the highest points of your face and your cheekbones it looks stunning so what i like to do for this step when i decided to use a glowy finishing powder i take a little in the brush and i apply all over the face then i take a little more in the brush and i focus in the areas that i want to highlight and to stand out even more and for example it looks over if i apply too much highlighter in the apples of the cheeks and in the cheekbones and in the center of my face so i just go with this type of product that gives me a soft glow look next i'm gonna apply a little more blush and here i'm using cordy rosa palette from sigma beauty this palette for me is a must have because i really love the colors they are so wearable and amazing i think this is the second or the third palette that i have and i really use it a lot so i take the pink shade and just layer on top of my cream blush that i applied before to give it back to me a little bit of the color that i just lose from the powder that i was using the loose one and also the compact one um now let's move on to the eyes so here i'm gonna use the chocolate palette from the browns mini palette from huda beauty i absolutely love these palettes because they are wearable they are small easy to put in your bag and amazing also they are very pigmented so i'm gonna start off using a medium brown eyeshadow and i'm gonna just apply in the crease blend in circular motions creating a soft crease eyeshadow and make it look a lot diffused as you guys can see here i'm applying with a, a fluffy brush and now i'm gonna use the dark brown eyeshadow with a really small brush and i'm gonna just apply this shade in the outer corners of the eyes and also in the roots of the lashes so here for this makeup look i'm using just in the top lashes and nothing in the lower lashes so I'm gonna kind of apply this eyeshadow like is a cat eye eyeliner but just the shape and I'm gonna just not take more product and blend to create a diffused line and next I take a little more product and apply in the inner corners to create this foxy eye shape so i got the eyeliner in the inner corners and also in the outer corners next using the tip of my fingers i'm gonna apply this shimmery eyeshadow just in the eyelid and i'm gonna just give it a little more glam and a little more shimmer for this makeup look but today i don't want to apply any glitter and anything else so to finish the eyes i apply fake lashes and mascara because i really like to use lashes and mascara so i use waterproof mascara by the way and now let's finish the makeup look using a lip liner so i'm using ecstasy from george cosmetics and perfectionist liquid lipstick from huda beauty this is a matte lipstick i'm gonna apply just a little bit of this color using a small brush for the lips and i really want to create a natural looking but if you like you can apply a gloss or even a red lipstick it looks amazing a dark red for example but today i decided to go like this this is a color almost like the natural color of the lips by the way that's why i don't apply any foundation or concealer in the lips just keep it natural this is how i conclude this beauty makeup look as you guys can see is just to make you look even more beautiful just to emphasize your beauty and not apply too much product
Uh -huh, okay, here we apply too much, but a little of too much. We apply a lot of different products, but just a little tiny bit of all of them. So I really hope that you like this look. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, like this video if you did, and comment down below what you think about this makeup look. By the way, I'm sorry I'm feeling so sleepy because last week I was so sick. Now I'm good, I'm better, and yeah. So I see you later in the next videos. Mwah. Bye!